Hello everybody, this is Kenneth Elliott from MarketAssociate.com and today I wanted to touch on a very short topic that touches on SEO, WordPress pages versus WordPress posts. Now, I've had a little, you know, some people have commented on this, some people have said, what's the, what's the difference, why should I use a WordPress page versus a WordPress post, what's the difference and everything else. Well, I'm going to show you how I use them. I'm going to show you how I optimize my websites, how I point certain things to certain things in order to get them further up into the search engine. Um, I have a test site here that, um, you know, it's not very active right now. It does earn me a little money here and there, but um, I'm doing a lot of testing on it to see, you know, certain things like P PHP Zon, does that work? Um, does having somebody write the post for me work and stuff like that so um, if you look in the foreground background you'll see that I have this site blackhairstyles.com um, eblackhairstyles.com well this was one of my test sites I did find something where I, I thought it would be um, a, a great niche to show some information about and stuff like that um, <laughs> So, getting into this, um, how I set up this website, if you come to the beginning of it, you'll see that, you know, I pretty much set it up as a blog and everything where I have all my, all my posts, WordPress posts going down, streaming on the front. Now, when I first opened this website, I had a static page here that only spoke to um, black hairstyles black hairstyles so that did very well in the search engines and everything like that so after a while it started to decline it did not do very well and everything I think the main issue with that is that I am showing AdSense right here um, if you notice a lot of the websites now they're not really showing a lot of ads and stuff in, on the main pages or anything like that I think what's happening is that you know and this is going off topic a little bit but I think the main instance is that um, Google is pretty much centering out pages that uh, look like they're they're just trying to push people towards assets and saying look you know that that's unacceptable to them and you'll have to fight a lot harder to in order to get good standings in their search engines if that's what you're going to put on your pages but that's beside the point so if you look over here on the and as you notice I have a lot of other advertising things running on this page if you look over here you'll see that I have recent posts as well as these are my pages on this side so how do I treat everything now posts pages will stay c constant on your website meaning when you add more posts to the website this these ad articles will go f down 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 they'll disappear they'll start disappearing types of hairbrushes will start disappear if you add another one up here these will stay static they will not move so how do I treat these? I treat these more as my money pages. So the things that I'm selling or I'm promoting on affiliate marketing basis, I put right here. These are the things that I feel will make me the most money if somebody clicks on them and goes to the site that I'm promoting where they're selling the products that are behind these pages. So in order to make the money on these pages, I need to get these in the search engine. I need to get them high up in the search engines where people are doing natural searches on them and also are clicking through to the other website that I'm promoting in order to make the money. So how do I do that? I use my posts. So internally on the website, I create certain posts in the website and then certain keywords in the post I point to my pages this builds it up builds up my pages and 
gives them the crucial links that they need in order to build them up into the search engine. But not only that, I also create other articles or reviews on other websites that point to my pages. So the instance of these pages become stronger and stronger over the years as I add more and more pages to them and everything. Eventually they will become strong pages in themselves where people will come to those pages, they'll look at the information and then they'll, they'll earn me money because they'll click through to other sites. So, the main question, why would you use a page, why would you use a, a post? Posts point to your pages. Pages point to what sites that you're promoting as a affiliate marker and what sites you want to make money from. Plain and simple, that's pretty much what it is. This is how I create my website, this is how I structure my websites not the only way that I make money on my websites but one of the main ways that I make money and as you can see one of the other ways that I make money on my websites through Google AdSense as well as these links right here um, quick and easy example of pages versus posts and how to an SEO how to push those pages up further and I, I, I'm going to tell you one key thing that a lot of um, people do with their websites that is not very good in terms of SEO. Most of the time, when people create websites, they point all their links to the home page. They're not pointing anything to their posts or pages. That in itself does not push up your money pages yeah people will come to your main site but then you only have one page that's ranking of your whole site you want to get all your pages ranking especially your money pages you know these don't have to, you don't have to have this many money pages I would say start out with one one money page get that to the ranking you want then add another money page get that to the ranking you want add another one keep going keep going keep going this may take a little while concentrate on one site at a time I know when I first started I concentrate on a lot of sites I have a lot of sites out there they're not all doing very well I'm being very honest with you you need to concentrate on one site at a time concentrate on those individual pages concentrate on your home page concentrate on doing quality reviews concentrate on your social media strategy in terms of YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, whatever you're using. Concentrate on your article writing, putting out good articles on quality websites. Um, and I'm sh I know after a year, year or two, you will see phen phenomenal, phenom <laughs> I can't pronounce my words today, great results. Let me break it down <laughs> very, very, very low key. You'll see great results. You'll see some excellent money coming in, and also you'll, um, you know, you'll start reaping what you sow and everything else. Um, I, one other key thing: when you're looking for a product or something to promote, I know for my business, my business does very well around the Christmas time area, um, time of the year after the summer um, during the summer stuff like that Christmas after Christmas when it's winter my business sucks <laughs> quite frankly so you want to look for products that sell throughout the entire year now that in itself is a a art <laughs> try to find that kind of business so um, if you're just starting find those types of um, niches to get into um, something like snowboards or something like that yeah you'll make money during the winter time but during the summertime well, you will not make money you deal with hair food um, things that that people use on a daily basis things that um, go out of style you know they use up on a daily basis those are the things you want to promote because they have to go back back out and get it um, weekly monthly 
those are the things you want. And then once you get your business flowing with those types of websites, then branch out to other websites that are seasonal. But you, if you want consistent money, you need to stick with the consistent things that will continuously make money. Weight loss, that goes all year. If you could put a weight loss website together that speaks to exactly how to do how to do a certain exercise, um, how was the correct way of doing the exercise, that in Excel will make great money, and it will move you along, and you'll start to really reap those seeds that you put down. My name is Kenneth Elliott from marketassociate.com. Please visit my website. I just talk on a lot, a lot of things that I'm working on. Um, some of my other websites, my e-commerce websites, as well as my affiliate marketing websites. Once again, Kenneth Elliott from marketassociate.com, and I hope you have a great day.